Uh, welcome everybody to my next instalment of my steelbook haul that I've received this week. Um, uh, six steelbooks to show you in this one. So I'll crack on and open them all for you and let's have a look inside. Ooh. I'm looking at Despicable Me 2. Okay, so I've seen the uh, first original Despicable Me film a few times and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm hoping the second one is going to entertain me as much as the first one did. Um, if my daughter saw this at the uh, pictures when it first came out and she said it wasn't as good. But I'll watch it um, and make my own opinion. Okay. Um, you've got most of the original cast in this. Um, three little orphan children that he's got the task of uh, looking after. Don't remember seeing her in the first one. She may be a new addition to this. I can't remember. Um, yeah, it's a great film. You've yeah, again for this one. You've got Steve Carell and Russell Brand. Um, very good choice of cast doing the voices for this. Okay. Um, can't see any mention of. Oh, here we go. Is the audio? It's in DTS Master Audio 5.1. Okay. That's uh, it. Really lovely looking uh, finish on the front of this. Yeah, uh, that is nice. Um, great looking steelbook. Glossy finish to it. And stickable me too. I'm sure there'll be a German or French edition of this, um, which has got a 3D version. This one doesn't, unfortunately. Um, it's only a 2D. If you're thinking of getting this. Hey, okay, nice start back on the back as well. And nice artwork on the disc too. So it's region free as universal discs usually are. And nice artwork of the minions inside. Lovely artwork, and uh, I love the glossy steel books. They are my favourite kind of steel book with a nice glossy finish to them. Alright, uh, this one is Conan the Barbarian, starring, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, one of his first um, big time like, Hollywood movies. This one, um, but not so great movie acting, um, but um, I do love this film. I'm hoping the second Conan comes out on Steelbook as well. I'm sure it will. <laughs> okay, a little card just comes away there. This one is reading A, B, and C. Okay, uh, what sound have we got? 5.1 DTS HD. Okay, you can't see it being that great the sound, but you never know. <laughs> okay, it's a nice looking Steelbook, this. A nice board around it. Conan the Barbarian. Um, animated sort of drawings on the front. If you haven't uh, seen this film, I do recommend you do get it. It is um, you might not enjoy it at first, but what, give it a few two watches uh, and you will enjoy this. James Earl Jones um, is he in this first one or is it the second one? Which, the voice of Darth Vader. Um, There's the disc there, region A, B and C. I start of work in the inside as well. That's the only downside with these uh, cards. They don't give you any information really about the film itself. Um, but yeah, I, I can't remember if James Earl Jones is in this. Um, as being a buddy, I think he is. But I can't remember properly. Um, so that one is Conan the Barbarian. Uh, this is a steelbook. I'm really pleased that they've brought a steelbook out for this one, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton. Um, obviously, the animation in this is a lot different to what you get nowadays with regard to like Pixar and that computer generated. This is all stop motion camera shots. Um, yeah, but storyline for this is really good. Um, I know 
when I've got this on Blu-ray already and I watched this with my daughter, I think it was last Christmas, and she wasn't impressed because she's she's used to the Disney releases. Um but yeah, just give it a go. Um is a it's a it's a classic. I, I think you should get every once you have this in the collection, uh, this film, if not the steelbook, just get it on Blu-ray. Uh it's a good a good watch and the restoration was was very good as well, um, from what I recall. Okay. Okay, so saying now this digitally restored and remastered. State of the art technology. Uh, I don't know if they've done it again for this uh, particular release or not, or if it's just still the same as the original one. Um, if you're aware that it is any different, please uh, comment and let me know. Um, this one is region being locked, unfortunately. But just look at that, that is stunning, isn't it? Um, really, really nice looking steelbook. Um, <laughs> it's embossed as well, his mouth, all stitched up, very nice. Uh, it's a matte finish, but it is still a lovely looking steel. This little if that's not like an uh, embossed border, but it's still a nice but little border around the edge there. Yeah, span and a lovely font. So like that a lot. Some artwork on the back. <laughs> Take a look inside. Got no artwork on the disc. Oh, upside down. Uh, region B locked is confirming that. Nice artwork on the inside. Like a, a romantic theme to this, if you haven't seen it. I'm not going to say too much, I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't watched it before. It's a very good storyline. Here we go with Pacific Rim. Um, I wasn't really sure whether to get this or not, but a few people have done videos for it. It does look like a great looking steel, and I've heard that the movie itself is a must basically watch. A must, a must watch. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, it's one of the um, the best films of the year, going to quite a few people. So I thought, yep, I'll have to get this. Um, okay, so I'll just peel off this bit of paper from it. Want to get into it? Oh, it's not just a 3D as well, which is good. Yeah, we made 3D. Oh, so there's the bit of paper that's come with it. Um, it's 5.1. See, I really don't understand why um, most, or if not all, new films are made in 7.1 sound. Um, if someone can explain that one to me, um, I'd be pleased to know what that's all about. Because uh, I've got, got the technology uh, to make the sound at 7.1, so why not use it? Uh, so it's a nice matte finish to, to the artwork on this. Hmm. Sure, the picture quality will be awesome on this. Oh, so you've got three discs inside this. So you've got the 3D version. Special features disc. And I'm assuming this will be the 2D version. Okay, nice simple artwork on these. They're, they're all going to be region free. There's no region codes on them. Nice artwork inside as well. Yep, uh, I am pleased I got this and I can't wait to watch it. I think this may be one of the first ones I watched from the recent um, Steelbox I've purchased. And there's Pacific Rim with the ratings removed. Next, we have 13 Assassins, and this could be the pick of the bunch uh, regarding the films themselves. Um, let's take a look. I have seen this one before. 
really really impressed with this and mm, just figured on how to get this off without ripping it um, pull it off there at the back if you like your martial arts movies uh, this is one I really really strongly recommend you get um, okay so put a little description on the back okay so it's uh, one of the greatest samurai movies ever made jaw dropping intense action okay alright so if you want to know what it's about read this uh, if you don't want to know what it's about like don't read it like so, so pause it if you do want to read it Um I can see at the bottom there it's region being locked unfortunately okay yeah so picture quality on this was bloody amazing as well Um I watched it I was like blown away by it really really good picture quality on this uh, steelbook itself has got a really shiny finish to it because I've got this on blu-ray as well as that that's how I know what the picture quality is like by the way I haven't watched the disc that's in this yet just opened it <laughs> really really glossy finish to this um, and nice spine as well that is great look at that any bloody artwork on the back. Um, now I like that. I do like that a lot. Uh, the way they've done the artwork on the disc, very, very good. Confirming that it's region being locked. And then you got some nice artwork on the inside. Yeah, this is a uh, one of the best martial arts film I've ever seen. Uh, uh, I have to say that because um, and you've got to watch this if you like your samurai and the martial arts movies. Get it. <laughs> and I've saved this one to the end. Um, it's Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa. Okay, um, if you're not familiar with this character, um, he's played by Steve Coogan. Um, I think. Um, Alan Partridge is the only Steve Coogan character I, I like him doing really, I think he's amazing. I've heard mixed reviews on this film, um, good and bad, obviously it wouldn't all be bad or all be good, otherwise it wouldn't be mixed. <laughs> um, but, uh, but Alan Partridge is one of those things that you can watch it and not like it at all. Um, I'm talking while this is showing this, so if you wanted to read this, you can. You can. Um, this information here, um, but yeah, so like Alan Partridge series two, he done a few years ago. Um, I wasn't really keen. Um, a few of my friends shared that opinion, but when you watch it again, like a bit later, like a few months down the line, you love it. Um, so that could be the case with this. Watch it once and think, ooh, and then watch it again and go, oh. Uh, <laughs> so it's Alan Partridge, aha, uh, as he says. Um, okay, so that's enough for looking at this. But you've got a Blu-ray and DVD by the looks of it, so it looks like it's going to be a two two disc ensemble. Uh, DVD and a Blu-ray. It's in there. Okay, Blu-ray lasts four minutes longer than a DVD. Um, I don't know why that is, but it does. Okay, it's in 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio. So, Steelbook itself, uh, nice matte finish to this. Obviously, you've got Alan Partridge on the front. Looking a bit younger on that picture there than what he did in Series 2 of Alan Partridge. I think that Steve Coogan did age him a bit too much for Series 2. He's a bit of a Terry Wogan type character, this. Um, I think he's kind of loosely based on, on a Terry. Um, okay. And there's the spine. Um, yeah, my wife's a big Steve Coogan fan. I think she fancies him. Um, so we, we may well watch this together. Okay, not much artwork to speak of in the back. Well, there you go. I think it's going to tie in with the front artwork, to be honest. Um, so you've got the Blu ray disc. And DVD disc, different artwork, which is good. You like that studio canal? Release this. Okay, um, so I hope he's read that description that was on the back 
of that so yeah, a little bit of J card there uh, so you know what this is going to be all about if you're thinking of watching it so he was a chat show host on the TV BBC TV um, his show got axed and he turned his talents to being a radio DJ uh, this is carrying on from that by the looks of it um, he did do a series on uh, YouTube series only not on the telly, telly um, for Alan Partridge as well fairly recently I think it was a couple of years ago uh, which to be honest I didn't enjoy that much because it was all set in the, um, the studio um, where he's done the uh, radio show from but I like it when he's out and about around the town and that and getting up to things well anyway that's a little show of, of that from me uh, I hope you like this video by the way and feel free to comment on any of the any of the sections that you want to or all of them if you feel that, that way inclined <laughs> all right bye bye everyone